The muscles around your eyes, your eyebrows relaxed. Join your palms. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Shakshat Parabrahma, Tasmay Shri Guru Ve Nama, Tasmay Shri Guru Ve Nama, Om Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. Yes, slowly bring your palms down and open your eyes very gently with a gentle smile. <clears throat> Good evening, all of you. Hari Om. Hari Om. Are you able to see the PPT? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Last time, where we have stopped? What was the? Anybody? Agni sir, Kriyas. Agni sir, okay. So today we'll start asanas. Okay. So before going into the details of what are the benefits of asanas, am I audible properly? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we will just uh, see a little bit about the anatomy and physiology of the skeletal system. So this is the skeletal which everybody of us has got, and these are the bones over there. And in between two bones there is a joint. There are about two hundred and thirty-eight or thirty-seven number of bones, and in between two bones there is a joint. As you see here, there is a. This is the knee joint. And in between two ends of the bone, there is a space. Why the space is there? Because whenever you are making movement of any joint, the one end should not rub against other, and you should not get any pain. And that is why this type of space is there in all joints. So here you see the space has reduced. That is why the, when I am bending the knee, this bone is rubbing against this, and then person is getting knee pain. Now this is the thigh bone. You might be wondering how many muscles are there. That's why I shown this picture. The number of numerous muscles on this side, 10, 15 on left side, right side, back side. So about 30, 40 muscles are there around the thigh bone, and which are helping to have the action, movements of the body. This is the vertebral column. It is made up of one vertebrae above the other, and in between two vertebrae there is a disc like this. This is the disc, or what you say, kurcha. Now this is the body of the vertebra, each vertebra, and this is the canal through which the spinal cord runs. This is the spinal cord. It ends at L2 level. This is the C1 to C7, that is cervical vertebrae. T1 to T12, these are the thoracic vertebrae, and L1 to L5, these are lumbar vertebrae. And then this sacral nerves are there. now the size of each segment of spinal cord is same while the vertebral column see here you can see the cervical vertebrae the size of the cervical vertebrae is small as you come down descend down the thoracic vertebrae the size is little bigger and the lumbar vertebrae they are the biggest but the length the size of the each cervical each segment of the spinal cord remains same so the spinal cord ends at a higher level but the nerve coming out from suppose this is the c1 so here what you will see that c1 uh, segment 
of uh, cervical sp spinal cord and the cervical vertebra they will correspond to each other there is no uh, difference but as you go down now it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here and t1 is here but actual t1 vertebra is here and this is the our t4 t5 but t5 vertebra is here so what will happen the nerve coming out from that particular segment suppose t4 it is coming out uh, are you able to see the cursor okay yes sir so ha uh, so the nerve coming out from here now uh, from the t4 segment of the spinal cord will come out from the t4 vertebra so the vertebra is here so the nerve has to travel down like this and then only it can come out similarly this is l5 so l5 nerve will have will have to come down travel down up to here and then at l5 vertebral level it will come out so from t l2 to l5 what is the, the here in this canal anybody what are the contents navel. of this yes navel region white metal the spinal cord ends at l2 okay lumbar 2 vertebra and the, the below this from this to this what are the contents of the vertebral column canal i told you just now na the l2 nerve is suppose now this is l5 l5 l4 l3 l2 now this nerve will uh, l4 this nerve where is the l4 vertebra is here understood so the nerve will have to come down travel here and then it can come out at l4 so what are the contents of this particular part yes only bunch of nerves there is no spinal cord spinal cord has ended over here and you can see here can you make the difference this is the spinal cord okay and these are the only nerves bunch of nerves which are coming out from t2 t l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 s1 they are all coming here down so this is why i am telling you anybody has gone undergone surgery operation ladies specially for cesarean anybody yeah uh, uh, which anesthesia was given to you behosh kaisa kiya tha aapko spine in the spine lumbar area mein ha kidhar diya tha injection in the disc i think हाँ तो वही अभी समझाने के लिए आपको बता रहा हूँ सपोज यू पुट नीडल ओवर हियर हाँ इन टी टू थोरेसिक ट्वेल्व वर्टिप्रा एल वन वर्टिप्रा इन बिटवीन जो डिस्क है वहां से नीडल डालेंगे तो क्या होगा व्हाट विल हैपन इफ द नीडल इज पोक्ट ओवर हियर स्पाइनल यस व्हाट विल हैपन so the needle might uh, go to spinal cord and agar uh, injury hua kisi tarah to pura gaya barabar correct yeah. so it will damage the uh, spinal cord aur itna bhi part damage ho gaya to it is supplying to this much part of the body so that will become paralyzed so whenever the, 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 as you said she got the injection in the spine so where that injection was given it was below lumbar 2 vertebra in between l3 l4 abhi l3 l4 ke beech mein kyun diya because when you poke a needle over here it will not be hitting the spinal cord it will be hitting the nerve and a bunch of nerves when the needle comes inside what will happen that nerve will go by the other side so nerve will not get damaged have you understood why i am showing this and why i explained this because when your spinal anesthesia is given it is given below l3 l4 so that the nerve it is a bunch of nerve 
द बंच ऑफ नर्व में ऐसा नीडल डालेगा तो वॉट विल एपन दे विल गो बाय द साइड एंड नर्व विल नॉट पियर्स द नर्व एंड इफ इज नर्व इज नॉट पियर्स देर विल नॉट बी एनी डैमेज और पैरलिस so this is from l2 to l5 level there is only bunch of nerves and that is why spinal anesthesia is always given at the level below l2 or below l3 level okay any doubt about this now this is the disc as we say this is the white disc this is the vertebral body in between two vertebrae there is a intervertebral disc now in between two vertebrae this is the thoracic process and uh, lumbar process thoracic uh, this uh, lumbar spine and transverse process and in between here there is a space from where the nerve comes out see this is the spinal cord and this is the vertebral body in between two vertebrae there is a small opening through which the nerve comes out so that is how the nerve is coming out and then it is supplying to the different parts of the body now this is the vertebral column top to bottom now this is a natural curvature it has got it is not straight line it is little bit curved upward little bit curved in the lumbar region now this vertebral column is present in everybody's body now suppose this skeletal this is hung up over here with a cord suppose i break it what will happen this will fall down and make a heap of it but this is not happening in our body why because the muscles around it they are keeping them in position otherwise what will happen suppose this is the hand and uh, uh, these muscles are keeping this in position if this muscles would not uh, not have been there it would act like a skeletal suppose that uh, cut this thread it will fall down and the bones will be scattered all over the floor so the muscles they are playing very important role and that is why the importance of the muscles now what are the functions of musculoskeletal system it tones up the muscles and ligaments keeps proper distance between the two ends of the bone length of muscle increases slightly but tension does not increase there is a sustained contraction of the muscle when you are doing the yoga asanas there is no resistance against contraction and energy expenditure is minimum suppose you are lifting weight so what is happening you are using energy so double bar dumbbells weight lifter when they are lifting weight they are using energy so there is a energy expenditure that is why after practicing exercise you will feel tired but after doing yoga what is there because there is a sustained contraction of the muscle not much of the energy is used it is not against resistance because when you are lifting the weight you are applying uh, contraction of the muscle against resistance so more energy is spent while in yoga asana less energy that's why energy expenditure is less so energy expenditure is less and you are getting more benefit then it improves the flexibility of the muscle prevents rigidity and increases the stamina and endurance if muscles are used their elasticity is maintained for example now you take a rubber sheet and make two pieces of it and one piece you put put it into the store room and don't touch it and another piece you keep it on uh, table on the uh, drawing room or the, the room where and every day you stretch it apply little oil and after one month you check it again the piece which you have kept in the store room which you have never used never handled when you try to lift it it will break into pieces because it has become brittle but while the piece which you are stretching every day it will have the elasticity similarly if we are practicing asanas every day stretching the muscles little bit the elasticity of the muscles is maintained and when the elasticity of the muscle is maintained the function of the body improves when the muscles are not elastic what happens they become stiff and then what happens when you try to get up or walk 
my walk suddenly you get a catch you say, oh no i'm getting i cannot walk why because the muscle has become stiff and it refuses to contract or relax that is stiffness of the muscle so this is prevented when you practice asanas then it improves the artery and venous arcade we'll see in the future slides how the arcade is working then it helps to drain the metabolite lactic acid suppose you are walking you are going to take a uh, part into the marathon walking so you start practicing so first day if you are not practicing regularly you are a beginner so what happens after 2 3 kilometers you say i am getting cramps in the my leg calf muscles and i will sit down then you sit down then after 10 15 minutes you say okay now i can walk why this happens because when you are walking lactic acid is generated into the muscle and lactic acid is a waste product if it remains collected over there it creates cramps into the muscle and that is why you say now i'll sit down and when you sit down slowly this <clears throat> lactic acid is washed out by the impure blood vessels or veins and when the level of the lactic acid goes down then you say okay now i can walk so why this happens because if the arteriovenous arcade if it is not functioning properly whatever lactic acid is uh, generated because of the walking it will remain over there and you get cramps but by practicing asana the elasticity of the muscle is maintained the arteriovenous arcade is maintained so whatever amount of lactic acid is generated it will be washed out immediately and you will not feel tired so this benefit you get by doing different types of asanas now these are the muscles in our body you can see as innumerous muscles and each and every part of the body the external surface the internal organs liver spleen uh, then stomach uh, intestine all they have got muscles that is why the intestinal contraction occurs when the intestinal wall muscles contract now this is the artery which is supplying pure blood to any part of the body when it comes to this part suppose this is you take it as a cell or muscle in broad so the artery comes over here it gives oxygen it gives the nutrients the end products of the carbohydrate fat and protein metabolism which is necessary for the nourishment of the cell then when it goes into the cell what happens cell returns the carbon dioxide then whatever metabolism has occurred the waste matter which is collected over there it is also given to the vein uh, this uh, vessel and so what will happen this color has changed here it was pure blood oxygen was there so red it was the color but when it comes this side it has collected all the waste matter it has collected the carbon dioxide so it has become blue and that is why we call this as a vein so this is the artery and this is the vein and this is the arteriovenous arcade you can see it still enlarged figure you can see here small small arteries are now these are the cells i am showing here now when you are walking this cell metabolism increases if metabolism increases what will happen the waste products will increase and so the lactic acid is one of the waste products which get collected over here now if it remains into the cell cell will become tired and you get cramps and you sit down when you sit down slowly this lactic acid is collected by this vein and it is thrown out when the level of the lactic acid reduces then you say okay now i can walk so if you are practicing asanas every day the muscles they are remaining elastic so the arteriovenous arcade which is there inside the muscle it is active if it is active what will happen when you are walking whatever amount of lactic acid is generated it will be collected by this vein and it will washed out and sent out to the uh, general circulation so this benefit you get by doing asanas now how asanas should be practiced uh, basic uh, just one hint i am giving you how it should be practiced the when child is born first how it is lying down he is lying down on the this is the fetus inside the uterus so he is curled like this 
is a total in flex position. When he's born, first three, four months, he's lying down on the back. Isn't it? Then after four or five months, he starts turning and try to lie on tummy. Then after seven, six, seven months, he tried to start sitting. And around 11, nine, 11 months, he starts trying to stand up and then start walking. Why I have shown this sequence? Because this sequence is important to remember that asana should be practiced first in lying down on the back, then lying down on the tummy, then in sitting position, and then standing position. So it will be easy for you to remember which uh, asana should be practiced first. So this is the sequence you should follow. Now fifth, uh, the regarding backache, 50% of backache may be due to disuse, misuse, overuse, or effect of modernization. Now, asanas, if you're practicing daily, the warming up will be done of all the muscles. And then, because of the modernization, we are seeing a lot of abnormal positions, like you are sitting in a revolving chair, or you are sitting on the chair and working on computer for eight hours. So what problems happen that we'll see in the next few slides. So disuse, misuse, overuse. Misuse means wrong positioning. Disuse means not doing anything. So some people, they don't do anything. So what happens? They are all the time sitting at home like this only. So one type of muscle, they are in action and other type of muscle, they are not at all in action. Now, suppose I keep my both hands like this on the chair and I don't move it at all. So what is happening? This is relaxed. This is contracted, bicep 50% contracted. And if I keep my both hands whole day like this, and when I get up and I try to stretch my hand, I will not be able to do it because the muscles which are contracted, they will refuse to relax. So, then easy work with machine. When you are working on machine, the movements have become less because somebody has to just watch the machine, put the button or put off the button. So the muscle movements are less. So loss of routine exercise. Labor working at construction site carries heavy pot on the head. He is carrying that uh, bricks. So eight to 10 bricks is keeping on her head and then climbing suppose five or six floor. He doesn't get cervical spondylitis. But the clerk, Babu, working in the office, as if the whole burden of the globe is on his head, he has got cervical spondylitis. Why this happens? Because wrong positioning. How that wrong positioning? We'll see in the next few slides. So what are the orthopedic problems? Either it may be because of injury, weakness, the support, uh, um, uh, normally that framework gets defected, then disease, because of some disease, either bone problem is there, tuberculosis in the bone is there, or osteomyelitis, the infection is there. So that particular bone will not work properly. And the muscles around it, they, can, they will not have the action. Habit. Ha acquiring bad habits. Some people, now suppose you are sitting on the, wheel, uh, the revolving chair in front of the uh, computer. If you are sitting eight hours like this and uh, looking at the desktop, which is at a higher level, your muscles are stretched. So at the end of the day, if you try to do like this, you say, oh, my neck is gone. Why it is gone? Because if you are looking at the desktop for like this and desktop is at a higher level, so these muscles are contracted, these muscles are stretched. If you remain like this for five, six hours, after that, what will happen if you try to do like this, the muscles which are stretched, they refuse to contract and the, the muscles which are contracted, they refuse to relax and that is how you get pain. Then skeletal imbalance, it may be sometimes in some cases only scoliosis or this that we'll see. And other causes is mental attitude and wearing high heels. Now wearing high heels, I will give special reference to that because nowadays it has become fashion to we are high heels. Now, what are the benefits and what are the bad effects? 
what are the benefit anybody sir high link ke benefits ha sir balancing achhi hogi usse balancing hogi matlab benefits batane hain ha kya fayda kya hota hai why you we are high in फुट नाउ इट एज गोट ए आर्च दीज आर ऑल मेटाकार्सल बोन and they are little curled like this and when you suppose uh, walk on the flat to a surface now this is little curled and there are tendons and fascias which are keeping this in a, this position right now this normal thing is a, going to balance whole of your body in a proper way the weight of the body is balanced by the foot in such a way that you can stand properly and you don't get pain suppose you stand for 5 2 3 hours still you will not get pain why because the balancing is proper there is no excess weight on any particular part of the foot okay now you take a high heel what has happened you have disturbed the midline and the weight balance the natural weight balancing jo bhagwan ne mechanism diya hai तुम उसको डिस्टर्ब कर देते हो एंड इज व्हाट दैट मसल्स हैव टू डू एक्स्ट्रा वर्क टू बैलेंस योर बॉडी हाई हिल्स आर नॉट बैलेंसिंग योर बॉडी माइंड वेल इट इज ओनली गिविंग यू इंक्रीज इन द हाइट बट द कॉम्प्रोमाइज इज दिस लोअर फुट आर्च दैट इज कॉल्ड फुट आर्च इट हैज टू डू एक्सेस वर्क टू मेंटेन युअर बैलेंस एंड दैट इज वाई द लेडीज हु आर यूजिंग high heels they get often the uh, calcaneal spur pain in the uh, foot or painful heel all these problems are because of this have you understood yes or no yes sir no yes sir no <laughs> i will still use yes, the high heel <laughs> this is the one of the bad effects of the modernization because in olden days there was no high heels this is the gimmicks by these uh, uh, footwear production people they want to attract to say this oh this is a different high heel is there so you also go and yes i want high heel anyway then misuse wrong posture easy chair foam mattress regarding foam mattress now uh, about 10 15 years back there was a fashion to have that very soft mattress foam mattress is it good or bad it's it is bad. bad for the spine why to log itna kyun ek ek lakh rupaya kharcha karke laate the ho ha it was very costly na yes yes sir it's Haan. very costly ha to kyun fir laate the pagal hai wo log सर लाने के बाद थोड़ा टाइम यूज करने के बाद बैकेक का प्रॉब्लम बोलते हैं कंटिन्यूस हाँ तो भाई बैकेक प्रॉब्लम होता है एंड सपोज ए पेशेंट हैज गॉट ए बैक पेन व्हाट इज द एडवाइस गिवन बाय द डॉक्टर मतलब नीचे सोने के लिए बोलते हैं मतलब स्ट्रेस बैक स्लीप लाइ डाउन और स्लीप ऑन हार्ड बेड नीचे नीचे सोने के लिए नहीं बोलते हार्ड बेड के ऊपर अभी हार्ड बेड क्यों बोलते हैं नाउ सपोज दिस इज अ बेड एंड दिस इज यू आर लाइंग डाउन ऑन द बेड नाउ इन आवर बॉडी देर इज अ हेड ओवर हियर देन शोल्डर एरिया हियर एंड द लंबर एरिया नाउ द बॉडी वेट इज मैक्सिमम एट द हेड देन बोथ द शोल्डर एंड देन द गर्डन और बटक so when you are lying down on a very soft uh, mattress what will happen 
the part of the head will sink down because of the weight both the shoulders will go down because of the weight and uh, buttocks will go down because of the weight right now we have seen this is the vertebral column now suppose this is a normal bent which should be maintained properly then only the spinal cord inside it will be protected properly now you are sleeping on a soft bed so what will happen this part has gone down this part also has gone down because of weight so the angle has increased over here now because more angle has increased this part is here and this part has gone down so the spinal cord over here it gets stretched okay when the spinal cord inside this is get straight stretch the nerves they are getting affected and that is after some days what you say i am getting back pain another important thing some people they have got a habit of sleeping with two pillows barabar hai now what happens if you take two pillows your skull part has gone up when you are lying down now suppose this is the head so you take two pillows below that so it will go like this right now when it goes like this the angle here gets disturbed and the spinal cord in this area gets overstretch because it gets overstretch what will happen the nerve coming out from there will be also get stretch and that is after some days you say i am getting neck pain so that is why this is very important how you should lie down on the bed and what you should use so this is a about foam mattress then easy chair that will show next picture say so using more pillow that we have seen unequal pressure on the way and overuse postman example is now this is a laptop the person is using now where are the level of the eyes eyes are here and where is the desktop the desktop is here so when she is working on this she has to bend forward to watch what is written on the desktop so all the time she is bending forward so these muscles are stretched these muscles are contracted so after 8 hours of work when you get up and try to make straight sit you say oh i am getting pain why because this side muscles they are stretched for hours together this side muscle because you are bending forward they are contracted and they refuse to reverse the action and that is why then you say oh, i am getting shoulder pain or neck pain so what happens here you can see if the desktop is here and your eye level is here you are bending forward to watch this so these side muscles are stretch and this side muscles are contracted so after sitting for 7 8 hours these muscles when you try to make your neck straight they refuse to contract the idea is clear now after looking at this picture so that is why what is the ideal thing the desktop should be at the level of the eyes so here in this picture this desktop should be up over here you put some more uh, platform on this so that the eye level and desktop level is same so that is important similarly the posture different wrong attitude that was i was talking now this is the good posture when you are walking this is the what he has done forward bend of the head so he is stretching the cervical vertebrae now here he is walking like this so there is a pressure on thoracic vertebrae here he is doing lumbar lordosis means he has taken tummy little ahead so this lumbar vertebra are affected or swaying back so it is affecting the total weight of the body it is getting little deviated and that is why this is the correct position if you are walking in any one of this type you are going to get back ache in future another thing the school bag sometimes uh, we find that the weight of the school bag is equivalent to the weight of the child now because of the weight she is bending forward 
when she is bending forward this side muscle targeting stretch this side muscle targeting contracted and that is why these children they are prone to get back ache if they use such a huge bag and carry it on their back now these are the thrilling things some people do it and then here you see the because he is concentrating on this type of adventure he is contracting these muscles more this must relax and that is why they are likely to get problems in future is another now which is the correct position to sit see this is the correct way to sit because here it is right angle and the back is uh, touching the uh, chair properly here what is his she is bending little forward so that is why she is likely to get back pain in future another thing here you are feeling that you are sitting relaxed but it is going to give problem to you in future now about postman if you remember postman about 30 years back they used to carry a jholi like this and lot of letters were there and it is usually they carry in on one shoulder only either right or left so one of the postman who retired at the age of 58 all his years of service nearly 35 40 year he was carrying the bag on the right shoulder so his right shoulder was sagging down a bit after retirement he was given send off and that jholi was removed but after that also he was walking like this why because 40 years he was carrying the bag on the right side and that is why he is uh, got habituated to that so that is why what is the best answer one day you should put bag on this side one day you should put bag on the other side of the shoulder another example nowadays everybody has got mobile but in old about 10 years back or still some people must be having landline now when phone comes what they used to do they used to put like this and then keep on working and some people used to talk for hours together and then if you are talking hours together like this and holding the neck like this after some days what happen you do get cervical spondylitis so such patient may come to you so when you are getting a patient of cervical spondylitis you should ask him what is his daily routine whether he is uh, suppose he says yeah i have to attend so many calls so how you are using it so you give the uh, brahma mudra and all that But at the same time you can tell him for one call you get you keep it on this side another call you take it on other side so that muscles will be not getting damage now this is the vertebra this is the vertebral body and when you say that there is a pid slip disc so what happens this this protrudes out like this and this is the spinal cord and these are the nerves coming out from the spinal cord when this pid is there this disc is pressing on the nerve and when it is pressing what will happen it will get stretch and the area of the body supplied by that particular nerve you may get tingling and numbness now suppose any nerve is getting pressed what is the first symptom you get because the nerve structure is like this that the sensory must uh, fibers are outside and central fibers are motor fibers so when nerve is pressed here what will happen what effect you will get first pain should be there ha eh? pain hoga pain sensation nahi either you say pain or sensation one more appropriate word you have to use numbness numbness numbness, numbness and tingling numbness first when now there are lacks of fiber in one nerve so outer fibers are sensory fiber and inner fibers are motor fiber now when this this has protruded and it is pressing the nerve what will happen first you will get tingling and numbness then when the nerve is pressed too much what will happen you will get continuous pain then if it is not treated and still it presses what will happen it will press the motor fibers when the motor fibers are pressed what will happen will not be able to hold the things will not be able to move the muscle and if he is not able to move the muscle then he will not be able to hold the thing okay 
so you are correct but the reason will be muscles getting damage they are not able to make the contraction and relaxation so this is the about pid what you say now this body of the vertebrae it the two vertebrae one above the other they are held in position by a very strong ligament fibrous tissue now in between the see this is the disc now this disc and this vertebra they are held together by the ligament they are, they are very strong you uh, the, your children must be making pyramids of something at home but you give little uh, jerk and it falls down isn't it similarly here you have seen this is skeleton suppose there is no spring over here you are just somehow balanced it and you just give a little touch what will happen it will fall down and make a heap of it so similarly uh, this should not happen that is why there are strong ligament which keeps these two vertebrae in line now when and this this is a contains nucleus pulposus in the center it is liquid why it is liquid anybody uh, it is a shock absorber uh, correct. absorber correct kind of. correct because suppose you jump from height so you will jump and you will fall on with the both the foot feet when you uh, come down on the floor with the feet the jerk will be transferred through the center line to the spinal cord to the brain but this jerk should not be reaching to the brain that is why there is a it is a liquid in between so in between two vertebrae there is a liquid so it goes on absorbing so finally there is no harm to the brain so that is why it is little liquid so when this ligament breaks because of some over weight or over activity or lifting heavy weight when it breaks that liquid inside it comes out like this and it will press the nerve now this is the uh, investigation in the past it was done myelogram they used to do so you can see the disc has protruded out and it is pressing the nerve again here i have shown that this is the protruded part of the disc which is pressing on the nerve and when it starts pressing it starts first tingling numbness then numbness then difficulty to make in movements of the toes now this you should remember because when you get a patient of pid slip disc sciatica if he is not able to make movements of the toes or finger that means that nerve is having a lot of pr pressure of the disc and is motor fibers are also getting compressed so this patient should go to doctor and get this pressure relieved otherwise what will happen this is a mechanical pressure so if it still keeps on pressing the foot or the toe may become permanently paralyzed he may not be able to make movement at all because in once nerve is damaged there is no re regeneration you cannot regain the power so and suppose you get a patient of sciatica uh, slip disc and uh, he ask you i want to practice yoga you said okay you can start and what precaution you have to take when you are giving him asanas then you should see that which asan when he is performing he is getting pain because you don't know whether the this prolapse is on here or here or here anywhere how you can judge it when you ask him to do crocodile poses lying down back and turning to this side then another time turning to this side now when he is turning to this side if this gets more compressed he will get more pain so he will tell you the sir i am when i am doing this i am getting more pain but when i am doing this side i am comfortable 
so that means you should not give the uh, asan practice which is giving more pain that means it indicates that the pressure on the nerve will increase more this is the first thing so whenever you are giving him asana you should see tell him that which are asan you get more pain you should not do it second thing when the patient has come to you of the spine uh, sciatic or slip disc he is telling that at present i got only tingling numbness you start giving him yoga practices but suppose he said today i am not able to make the movement of the thumb uh, toe at all it is uh, i am not getting sensation also that means what is the inference yes the motor nerve like uh, the it has come yes. motor nerve the nerve yes repeat so the effect has reached till the motor nerve yeah so what is the ideal uh, thing you should do that time don't ask to do stop yeah yeah stop asana then let him go to doctor and Uh, by doing mr and this they will confirm it whether that uh, pressure has increased or not if it has increased more then it should be mechanically removed otherwise what will happen he'll develop permanent paralysis that toe will to be totally become uh, uh, what do you say uh, numb numb and sensation less and he will not be able to make the movement at all so when you are giving yoga practices to a sciatic patient these two things you should remember this is watery that i discussed to you now this is the spondylolisthesis you might find one or two patients in your uh, 20 30 years that he says that he has got spondylolisthesis now what is the meaning of spondylolisthesis now this is a myelogram here you can see that disc has prolapsed this is the dye we are injected when the, somebody said that she was given spinal anesthesia so when the mr and ct scan was not there what we used to do we used to put a needle at l4 l3 and then inject a dye and then you can see that this disc is protruding and there is a filling defect that is how the pid was diagnosed in the past now it is not necessary by ct scan and mr you know about it so this is the spondylolisthesis when the total vertebral column is like this and the lower is the sacrum so total either it has moved ahead and this sacrum has gone on the back side so this is called spondylolisthesis patient gets little more pain while walking standing because the balancing has been disturbed now what yoga practices you can give that we'll see in the later stage no for neck pain and back pain what we advise for neck pain we advise brahma mudra and for back pain bhujangasan naukasan chalavasan and crocodile poses now we'll just discuss today brahma mudra now brahma mudra you give for neck how you give it make little neck straight and little up and then slowly turn on the right side take about 5 to 10 count reach to the right shoulder wait for five count then slowly come in front while counting it should be in 10 counts you should reach here then again slowly you go to the other side wait for five count then come in front in 10 count then take it up in 10 count wait for five count then again come down in 10 counts in front now the person who has got active cervical spondylitis jab aapke paas cervical patient aata hai so that he has got active pain so that patient you can give this first two movement and this movement you will not give forward bending you will not give then at some places they practice the jerky movements of the neck the third or fourth type of brahma mudra but jerky movement should not be given to the patient who has got cervical spondylitis okay then you can give this also bent on one side hold it for some time then again up then again down again up this you can give 
then clockwise and anti clockwise movement now the person who hasn't got any neck pain who is normal how he can practice he can practice like this go to the right first then go down come to the left go up come to the right again go down left again come up then slowly come in front now this is for a person who doesn't have the spine pain uh, neck pain but who has got neck pain and who comes to you for uh, treatment uh, the one which you will not give is one is the going down and then clockwise movement how will do suppose you start it like this then he is not supposed to go down so what you will do you take it up come to the left then without bending downward just come straight in front and go to the right otherwise how is going he is going down and then coming to the right right but the person with neck pain from left he will come straight in front then to the right side so he is not bending forward so i have understood this you will not get that then another thing whenever you are practicing brahma mudra you should keep your eyes closed why you should keep your eyes closed so for the awareness on the neck okay. region okay or anything else सर कुछ लोग कंप्लेन करते हैं कि खुली आंखों से करने से चक्कर आ रहा है उन्हें हाँ तो क्यों आता है बराबर यू आर करेक्ट बट वाई क्यों चक्कर आती है सम प्रॉब्लम इन बैलेंसिंग नो सी दिस इज द ईयर ओके वेड इन ईयर एंड दिस इज द इंटरनल ईयर एंड दिस इज द वेस्टिबुलर एपरेटस now this vestibular apparatus looks after your balancing of the body suppose i start bending like this like this like this like this what will happen the vestibular apparatus on this side and this side they will tell brain you are bending too much of the left side if you bend still more you will fall down okay so what will happen the brain will give order to the muscles on the right side and they will contract and slowly i will come up okay so the balancing is done by the vestibular apparatus now when you are doing this clockwise movement you are going to right going down again going up going so this vestibular apparatus sometimes gets confused whether i should ask this muscles to contract or this muscles to contract and in that patient may get vertigo or giddiness that is why when you are practicing brahma mudra you should keep your eyes closed so that that at least because it's a visual effect na you if you keep your open eyes and do like this so are which i am falling down that will he will get this feeling so at least you cut down the visual effect and with closed eyes if you with awareness you practice it you will not develop the giddiness so that is why you should keep your eyes closed okay next the uh, back kick we give different asanas now this is the bhujangasana here give now how it has got effect now you can see the vertebra i have shown you over imposed over here this is the vertebral column behind this is the, what you feel on your back if you feel somebody's back with your thumb what you feel you feel this part you feel this part this is the vertebral body which is on the tummy side then these are the two transverse process when they join together they form the uh, this uh, vertebral spine which we feel at the back and the gap between this the gap of all these vertebrae it forms a vertebral column through which the spinal cord goes now when you are having suppose slipped is like this this is pressing on this now how the bhujangasana is going to help now when is taking it back up what is happening 
there is a pressure on this contraction of the muscle so this will contract so this disc will be pushed inside but when the disc is pushed inside there should be space over here to accommodate it isn't it because normally disc is inside totally here and this ligament is perfectly normal but since it has broken and some of the disc fluid has come out he is getting pressure but now when you are doing bhujangasan you are pressing from this side so this disc is pushed inside but at the same time there should be enough space on this side to accommodate this disc and what you are doing here this part is getting stretched so it is opening up so when it is opening up the disc is accommodated inside and that is how you get relief in backache patient when you practice bhujangasan understood any doubt about this no so these are the different type of asanas so after lot of study and uh, effort by the our sages they have designed these different asanas and we have validated it from medical point of view that which asan can be given in which type of so in back ache we are always prevent giving him forward bend because if you do forward bend what will happen these side muscles will get contracted when these muscles will get contracted the space on this side is reduced because the space is reduced more disc will protrude out that is why the patient who has got slip disc pid is always told not to bend forward he can do back extension exercises so that is how we give different asanas bhujangasan shwanasan marjarasan crocodile poses in all that we try to give them back extension now what is the difference between the yoga and exercise now when you practice yoga asanas it helps to improve the circulation of the blood to all parts of the body while in exercise there is accumulation of blood you must have seen the Uh, weight lifter shows biceps like this strong so that means there is lot of blood collected into the muscle yoga can be practiced exercise can be usually they start practicing after the age of 10 12 and then they practice it till 50 60 65 afterward uh, what after that what they say oh now i am got oh, gone old abhi kya budha ho gaya abhi nahi hota hai and usually the people who are practicing exercise or you can see the athletes usually they have got problem after 65 because after 65 they stop doing all these exercises which were keeping their muscle toned up first thing second thing they have stopped using uh, doing exercise so the muscles they become because of the over stretching for last 40 50 years they become lax and they refuse to contract and that is why usually this patient you will find they have got uh, uh, muscle problem bone problem and constipation at the latter age but yoga you can start practicing suppose after 10 12 years you can practice it to whatever may be age 50 60 70 80 90 there is no problem you can practice it comfortably usually if you practice the exercise double bar single bar dumbbells running walking what happens you get tired so it is exotic while after practicing yoga even if you do asanas also you will feel fresh you will not feel tired then after exercise you know he has got uh, to have the very rich diet kaju badam pista 1 liter milk 1 dozen of bananas all that is a costly affair but yoga you require a very simple and minimum diet why minimum because whatever you eat because of your improved digestive system it is totally utilized assimilated and you get the all maximum benefit out of that food it is not wasted so you don't need to eat lot of food so that is a is not a costly affair then exercise gives hardness to the body you must uh, if you see any weight lifter you try to feel his muscles they are very stiff but the uh, the person who is practicing yoga 
his body is elastic why because the muscles are elastic so that is the difference in yoga and exercise now exercise you require external aid like double bar single bar dumbbells or now that the fashion is there to join the gym which you require 5000 10000 rupees per month to go to the gym while you you can practice at home anywhere you just need what a 3 by 6 asan which you can use for practicing yoga so you don't need a lot of expenses exercise make you little immunity when you are practicing it but yoga it will give immunity and resistance power if you are practicing it regularly exercise may be little bit preventive when you are doing it but once you give up at the age advances you will get lot of diseases while yoga it will act as a preventive and curative because if you are practicing it regularly after the age of 60 you will not give it up you will keep on continuing and then if you are continuing you will get the definite benefit of preventive and curative then by doing exercise usually you develop at physical level only we say hey, she is a strong man but the third floor is empty while you it gives you benefit at physical mental social and spiritual the definition of total health by who is the health which is at level of physical mental social and spiritual which can be achieved by practicing yoga and that is why yoga has got very important role in keeping yourself healthy at all levels and in the 21st century everybody has got mental tension and most of the diseases are psychosomatic means first mind is affected and then body is affected so if you want to keep your mind thoughtless and stable and sound modern medicine will not help but yoga will definitely help and that is why the importance of the yoga i think we'll stop here and tomorrow we'll continue with the shitali shitkaran rest of the part okay any question i'll give three four minutes sir bola ke asana ka sequence jo hai na usi ke hisab se kya hum khud bhi practice kare aur kisi ko bhi practice karwaye to it cannot be different for you and for patient it has to be same हम लोग जहाँ पे देखे हैं ना कुछ कुछ जगह पे जैसे आसनाट करके दिया गया है कभी स्टैंडिंग करवा रहे कभी ये करवा रहे हैं तो कभी तो ये नहीं कॉन्सेप्ट सुना नहीं ना सर इसीलिए थोड़ा सा इस पे हाँ, तो इस ऐसा है when you हाँ. got enough time and when you are going to do whole yoga practices then you should follow in this way now why it is given like that suppose you are working woman and you have to look after your kitchen also you have to go to the office so you don't get uh, one hour for doing yoga so what you will do then 